All right, welcome to the channel, guys. Just gonna showcase uh, these 100 watt Harbor Freight Thunderbolt solar panels, monocrystalline. I've installed 30 of them in total. You got 24 on the wall here. And then you've got 600 on this homemade dual access sun tracker that I originally built when I was still running 12 volt. And it works great. It gets me uh, anywhere from three to 600 watts coming in right off the rip first thing in the morning. So yeah, just wanted to show that real quick. Um, I started off with the six on that tracker. Then I added 12 onto the wall. And then yesterday I added 12 more. My EP Ever Tracer 60 amp charge controller can handle 3000 watts. So we'll see how it holds up because these panels overproduce regularly without an issue. They, uh, in my opinion, they're the best uh, solar panel on the market for 100 watt that is. Not exactly cost effective, but if you wait for the super coupon, you can get them for $89.99. So I've purchased all these with my own money. Not sponsored by Harbor Freight in any way. But Harbor Freight, if you're watching, I'd like some more. <laughs> About 60 more and I'd be good. So, all right, I'm going to take you inside now and show you what we're making here. At Well, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. So give me one second. We'll head in and check it out. All right, so this is at 9 o'clock in the morning. Sun really just came out from behind the clouds. And you can see we're making about 840 watts. It fluctuates. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm holding this camera way out in front of me. But we'll keep checking back and uh, see what we get for total production for the day. I did reset the meter at 8 o'clock this morning. So we've already almost made a kilowatt. So, and again, sorry for the shaking. <laughs> we'll check back here in a little while. And I also got... You can see I just unboxed and put them all up. <laughs> I got a mess in the shop. And we'll check out the new AO lithium batteries I just installed as well. Now I ran these dead as I could. You can see we got 5.9 amps going into that one. 6.2 going into that one. And we are running the inverter. Now this is just a grid tie inverter. And I did have two, I had one over here, but it uh, it let out the magic smoke. So it no longer exists. I've already put three up. Same thing keeps happening. So not sure why I redid all the electrical and all the circuits, but yeah. This was quite the project yesterday. It's about nine and a half feet tall by 18 and a half feet wide. There's 24 panels. Not ideal placement, but uh, in the winter time, it's gonna be perfect. It should do great. So yeah, 3000 watts of Thunderbolt solar, baby. The tower of power right there. So yeah, like I said, we'll keep checking in. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, well, here it is about 10.30, making over a thousand watts. And uh, we're at 1.5 kilowatts and climbing quick. It's in watt hours right now, but once it hits 10,000, I believe it just goes to kilowatts. Um, so yeah, not too bad. And I did, uh, I'm running the inverter wide open now too. Well, not wide open. It's rated at 900 watts RMS, 1000 watts max. So I have it set to 850. But even at 850, it makes 860 to 870. It jumps around. But basically this covers my 
Lights that are on all the time in the shop. That's on 24-7 LED. Covers the lights at night, like the yard light. All kinds of things. Pretty much covers my use. So, yeah, shop's trashed. But just wanted to give you a little update here, and uh, we'll keep checking in. All right, here we are at noon. Sun's still not directly overhead here in Michigan. Um, takes till about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But pretty good production, and it's climbing. Sun's getting further and further up in the sky, you know. So check back again at 2 o'clock. That should be about when we're going to get our peak for the day. See you in a bit. All right, 1 o'clock update. Still producing well. I'll see you at 2 o'clock when the sun's directly overhead. Making some pretty good power, though. I'm happy. All right, well, I think it's going to be our last update. It's 2 o'clock. I think I missed solar noon by a few minutes. <laughs> but, uh... Sun's already going the other way in the sky, so sorry. <laughs> Got tired and closed my eyes for a second and missed it. But anyways, that's what we're making right now. Um, we're at 7 kilowatts, so not too bad. I'll come back with a final update tonight when uh, we're not making any more power. All right, 5 o'clock update. Uh, it's still producing fairly well. Sun's way over in the sky now. Uh, I did turn the panels, get a little bit more. Problem I noticed is now my tracker is actually causing some issues with shading on my other panels. I didn't have them that high before, so it wasn't an issue, but now... It is. You can see that corner right there. It's got a shadow across it. So these all being run in series, that probably wiped out that whole that whole line of them. All six of those panels are probably no longer supplying any power. But other than that, fairly happy. Um, bring you back for one more update here. And we'll see what total energy produced was, and then uh, we'll call it a day. See you in a bit. All right, final update. It's uh, about 10 after 7 in the evening. Uh, made about 13 kilowatts for the day. Not too shabby. I normally only make about 8 or 9, so definitely a good improvement. And... Uh, well, I'll talk to you in a second here. Alright, well you can see the batteries are now at uh, about 99% on that one. 97% on that one. There's one amp being drawn from that one and 1.3 amps being drawn from that one. AO lithium batteries, man. They're pretty good. The only thing I don't like about them are these connections. They, uh... Only one out of all four of these actually snapped on and locked on. The rest of them you can pull right off. I don't know if there's a fault in uh, in manufacturing or what happened there, but you can see, I mean, the sun is way over that way. Can't even see it in the sky anymore. These panels are basically in the shade. The only panels that are still producing, the couple hundred watts we saw, are these ones, and that's fading quickly too, because I have trees out front that block it. But little wind turbines going. I'm going to be getting two new wind turbines, because I've been pushing these ones to the limits. They're 12-volt they're turbines, and I'm running them on at 24 volt just so i can keep using them so but anyways i just want to thank everybody for watching um can't thank you enough man the subscribers just blow my mind we're at almost 2,000 subscribers and uh couldn't do it without you so thank you and i'll see you in the next one